So I'm here with um, James Stein in the fourth, and um, yesterday at the Boom panel, um, we had some really cool um, talks about diversity and, and yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. like that. And uh, one of the things that I was thinking about um, last night was uh, you mentioned how um, some of the characters that have been changed um, to have different um, ethnicities or, or yeah, have yeah. become from straight to gay, um, part of that has to be because that, that's the only way you can do it because new characters don't don't um, glom well, you know? Right. Um, so one of the questions I had for you is, you know, in the past I've been very against uh, continuity changes. Right. But thinking about what you said, is, the, is do you think there's any like metaphor in the fact? Like, let's say they made Iceman um, before he wasn't gay at all. Right. Um, do you think there's like a bit of a metaphor in that about coming out? You know, uh, in, in the change, is there is there value in having established characters? Um, um, change their sexuality or, or identity. Well, in the Iceman case, uh, in particular, like I, I think that that is something because it's something that they've they they there have been little playful jokes over the years, uh, uh, like regarding the sexuality going way 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 back. And he's never real like he's been in relationships, but never in long term relationships. Things like. Like, there are little things that sort of point to that, and uh, the, there's something in, uh, there's something that I, I always point to, which is just the fact uh, that sexuality is very fluid, and it's also, and it's something that changes, and it's very easy to get caught up in, like, an idea of real absolutes, like, in terms of just, like, okay, I feel this specific way, I feel like this is how I'm, go like, this is how I'm going to be for the rest of my life. Like, and that is just not the way I've experienced my life. Like, I, you know, when I was in, uh, you know, when I was in high school, I was openly gay. And, but I was at an all-boys high school, so, like, <laughs> that, that, that had an influence on right. it. And then I went to a predominantly female college and then realized that I was bi. And then there was moments that I was just like, you know what, but actually I do feel more, more towards guys. No, I, I'm primarily dating women. It's just right. like, there have been these moments where it's just like, it, there, there's something about me that wants to define myself, but things change over time. And, like, if, you, if your sexuality is more in the middle of the spectrum, it does sort of... Uh, jump and then and it's shaped by the world around you. So in in the case of someone like Bobby, it it does make sense that like uh, the young Bobby in the present day, uh, who is around a much more supportive environment in the modern era, would feel comfortable to come out in a way that the older version of himself would have for years just been like, okay, no, 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 I'm like, this is the only way for me to be. And it, so it, for me, that makes total sense. Like. And I'm very interested to see how they handle the relationship with the adult Bobby and the teen Bobby once, uh, like, uh, one, uh, once Secret Wars is over. Sure. Uh, but I mean, like, in, in terms of, like, just radically changing character, like, th that would bother me too if it's just, like, you know, if all of a sudden, you know, tomorrow they were to, like, just, you know, take a very, very well-established, like, heterosexual character and then change them in a way that what didn't entirely fit. Like, right. the, one, the one that I saw a lot of people upset about recently was uh, Dick Grayson, where there's just, there's a, he's always been playful, he's always been flirty, but he is a straight character. Like, I've always read that character as straight, and it's, you know, it's something where him being playful and flirty is also very much part of his character. Uh, but, uh, you know, there are other characters where, you know, I think you could sort of, you could see that as part of who they are. But, you know, Dick's always been, like, he, he likes redhead, redhead ladies, like, right. <laughs> or orange ladies. Sure, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, think, I think, you know, what you mentioned is very important because, you know, um, it's not it's not everyone's experience to have such a uh, fluid identity right. change. Yeah. So I think people tend to think in absolutes. Yeah. It's it's only recently that I've even begun to think about um, gender identity. Yeah. As something that can be fluid. I've I've always thought of you know people are either comfortable in you know being a male-bodied or female-bodied person, or they're not. But there are some people that that can kind of yeah. you know go back and forth in a similar way. Not it's not right. a perfect it's not a perfect analogy, but a similar way. And and I think that. By having people mention that these things are possible, it kind of right. opens people up to the possibility. Right, exactly. And I think I think the the actuality of it is I think it's just like everyone sort of thinks it's just like okay, you're this or you're that. But the truth is is that everyone's on a chart, 
and it's just like you know I think there are, there are people out there that you know like maybe it's just the like you know the, there there are some very straight guys who are very good at pointing out who the other attractive guys are <laughs> yeah, and right, it's right. just like that's a step like it's not a huge step but it's a little step you're you're somewhere on a plot and then there are people who like you know there are guys who like to dress more flamboyantly right. even though they're more like totally straight and then there are girls who dress more tomboyish it's just right. that's something about like how they express their gender right. is like that this is where they they're aligned this is what they feel like their core is right. and that's their image of themselves and that's how they're going to hold themselves and it's just like it's a much more complicated system right. and the more we talk about it the more open we are the more yeah. like in a, we're in a societal place that there there are no assumptions. Right. Like a child born today, I think has much more a much better chance of not being pigeonholed into just being uh, what like everyone assumes they right. should be. And right. it's just like no, it's just like what what you feel like you are in in core to yourself. Like that is who you are, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, and that is, you know, I think for a long time there were lots of caveats on it, but we're kind of realizing that it's just like, no, that's like if you're not hurting anyone and you right. love yourself, like right. that's, you know, that is totally fine. That is right. totally good. So, well, yeah. thank thank you so much for speaking with me, James. Thank you yeah, so much. Absolutely.